2023, Southeast elders vowed to punish Igbo politicians who were swept to be presidential running mates to candidates from other regions. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. So, these people are saying that they will hold you by the trouser or they will hold you by the clothes and ensure that you vote for who? <laughs> people have the right to vote. It is only meant for, in the spirit of justice, fairness, and equity, we are going to just keep saying it. It's democracy, don't forget. People get to do what they want to do. They can decide to sell their votes. It is actually democracy. But we all know the right thing to do. Come to it to free. Let us do the right thing in picking the most competent person. Because this particular statement, I bet you some people come out and say something about it. And I, I am even quite sure if they have not come out to reply them already. You know, in detail, please stay with us. The Igbo Elders Consultative from IECF has insisted that their geopolitical zone must produce the next president of Nigeria. They also threatened heavy sanctions against Igbo, any Igbo politicians who accept to be presidential running mates to any person outside the southeastern zone. The chairman of the forum and the former governor of Anambra State, Chief Chukwemeka Ezefe, disclosed this on Wednesday. Ezefe insisted that it is either the Southeast is allowed to produce Nigeria's next president in 2023 or the region will quit the country. He said, emboldened by the increasing demand and support by credible and patriotic Nigerians for power shift, to the South in 2023, the Igbo Elders Forum hereby encourages visionary, credible, and creative presidential materials of Southeastern Zone to declare their intention for presidency and pursue it with every sense of seriousness, vigor, and commitment. We are very serious about this directive. Do not mind those unserious bootleggers who are angling to be running mates to candidates from other parts of a country. As the Igbos will not take it lightly with any of our sons or daughters who are said to be running mate to any person outside the southeast zone in 2023. That is, either we are allowed to produce the president of this country in 2023 to change the appalling narrative of continued decay, poverty, insecurity, poor governance, corruption, and maladministration in Nigeria, or out of it. No man or woman that sabotages this noble and patriotic decision of a people to provide for Nigeria a credible, visionary, and creative president. Legally and morally and strategically, it is the turn of a South is to produce the next president of a country as the other zones have been given the opportunity to serve this country in that capacity. Well, well, well. Like I said initially, this particular issue um they should not how am i going to put it now it's not something you're going to use in the basket to solve believe you me or not this is actually democracy this is democracy you can't force people to do what they would not want to do you cannot the only way this trust can work is when the old eastern region unite together for a common goal exactly exactly Abacha has technically weakened the Igbo by splitting the undisputable eastern region into two. Pulling out Nigeria without a coastal links will be very difficult. I think PDP needs to reconsider Igbo for presidential candidate. They have done everything enough for the ruling for the ex ruling party. Hmm. Okay. Wow, the elders are saying to change the political destiny of Indian wars in Nigeria. Definitely, the destiny of in the main reason why Igbos are not happy with Buhari and Yoruba is simply because of the vice president position, or else they would have been championing Buhari's third term agenda. Thank God for elders in the land, but they still need to make them appreciate their own as president from any political party. Kingsley, the former DJ of Central Bank, or OBS Equity, are fresh and cut across well if they have home based supports. Best wishes. I'm not surprised that this is the echo of the voice of the unknown gunmen. These people are tired of being second-class citizens. In the olden days, such people were taken to the evil forest and settled. But nowadays, they are given properties in Dubai, London, and New York. This is just 
This is not just a warning from the oracle of the land. <laughs> okay. Is that a threat? 17 million PVC collected out of which 4 million is, is in the north. Politics is not on social media, please. In other words, no matter what you say, you will actually go and you actually know that people cannot be forced to do what they do not want to do. It is better people should be pushing for Biafra actualization because my, those my big brothers will never allow you to become president. Mazinam Dekano is you people's hope. But it is unfortunate you people sold him to Fulani for presidential ambition to enter the free. But now the table is changing. You are now shouting. If you do not want them to be president, just let them go. Is it by force to be joined together? All people will continue to detect our fate in this country because the youth have failed to grow up politically and take their destinies in their hands. You think so? <laughs> okay. Is this people, are these people serious? Who can even consider them for such position? Maybe the People's Democratic Party, which is their married party. What this South is us actually coming out to demand for? Sincerely, it is actually the most, it is, it is a, a very rational thing to do. Opening to the fact that there is a lot of agitation in almost all the geopolitical zones of a country. But I think the way they are coming out to say this, I'm not going to be surprised if tomorrow or two days later, the Northern Group come out to say, you know what, this threat is not going to do anything because like I said earlier on, we run a democratic system of government to give people the chance or the, the what am I, how am I going to put it, it gives people the, the right to do whatever they want to do. We don't talk them into doing it. So at the end of the day, this is actually good, but because Nigeria is, will I say, Nigeria says, Nigeria as a country, they do, they do say what I, they do do what I say and not what I do. At the end of the day, this thing, if they don't handle it well, it is going to end up causing trouble. But it's in the spirit of equity, fairness, and justice, the most sane thing to do right now for the Eastern region is to, act, is to come out and vote for them for the president. And of course, I want to believe each and every region of Nigeria has the capacity to produce competent people as president. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.